Jesus left there and went along the Sea of Galilee. Then he went up on a mountainside and sat down. Great crowds came to him, bringing the lame, the blind, the crippled, the mute and many others, and laid them at his feet, and he healed them. The people were amazed when they saw the mute speaking, the crippled made well, the lame walking and the blind seeing. And they praised the God of Israel. Jesus called his disciples to him and said, I have compassion for these people, they have already been with me three days and have nothing to eat. I do not want to send them away hungry, or they may collapse on the way. His disciples answered, Where could we get enough bread in this remote place to feed such a crowd? How many loaves do you have? Jesus asked. Seven, they replied, and a few small fish. He told the crowd to sit down on the ground. Then he took the seven loaves and the fish, and when he had given thanks, he broke them and gave them to the disciples, and they in turn to the people. They all ate and were satisfied. Afterward the disciples picked up seven basketfuls of broken pieces that were left over. The number of those who ate was four thousand men, besides women and children. After Jesus had sent the crowd away, he got into the boat and went to the vicinity of Magadan. During Jesus' earthly life, wherever he went, the crowd followed him. Who were these people? Mostly they were poor, downtrodden, oppressed and exploited people, who had no place to go and share their miseries. There was a foreign government that was ruling them, corrupt local influential elite and exploitative religious clergy. Exhausted and disoriented, they were waiting for Messiah to come and relieve them from their pains and sufferings. They followed Jesus because they considered him as the Messiah that was promised in the scriptures. Blind people, paralyzed people, and people with all sort of diseases and disabilities were brought to Jesus and they all were cured. Jesus had lot of compassion for these people, Jesus saw them as sheep without a shepherd, exposed to all sort of dangers. Jesus was always very sensitive about the physical needs of his followers, therefore, when he saw them tired and hungry, he told his disciples to arrange food for them. In the wilderness, disciples showed their inability to arrange food for such a big crowd, without understanding that provider of everything is present with them. We too, sometimes get worried about our worldly needs without understanding that Jesus has promised to cater for our physical needs when we follow him. The disciples had only seven loaves of bread and a few small fish, with the blessings of Jesus, crowd consisting of more than four thousand people ate it and disciples picked seven baskets of leftover bread pieces. In our daily lives, we are often short of resources, we look at the problem but we forget to make Jesus part of the solution. If we include Jesus in our life, we may have very little resources but with the blessings of Jesus we can achieve much more than what logically we can expect.